スープマリオオデシー Uh, it's a loading issue. Which door? Are you back in the、uh, ruined courtyard? I think is the room name. Yeah, no, that used to happen all the time.、Uh, what that is, is it's a loading process.、Uh, the way you fix it is you. I think you back away, and then the way I did it was I always just backed up and went forward until the door eventually opened. Ah,、uh, he's talking about the hat spin. And you definitely powered the door, correct? Because you're trying to go to the new. the... The new area. Okay. We are back in the Cap Kingdom. Some interesting facts that I know about this kingdom. Let's start off with fact number one. This is the first Mario game where Mario started his adventure off at night. Okay, well, then it's definitely not because of that. Whoops. I don't ever recall seeing any information about. Metroid Prime doors glitching and preventing game progression. Oops. Sorry, I'm gonna be a bit quiet as I try to. There we go. I went through that moon twice. There we go. We're gonna leave the frog there. And I just. Oh my goodness, I thought I fell. Okay. And we made it back. Uh, let's see. Oh. Ah, so you didn't power the door. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing that you'll have to do.、Uh, don't forget. Now that you have the thermal visor, you can find power conduits. Okay. Ah.、Uh, oh, careful. Nope. <laughs> It is okay. Like, the worst thing that happened is you, you thought there was an issue. Whenever you do come across an issue where you can't figure out what to do next, scanning is the best option because it does give you the clues. The context clues necessary for completing objectives.
Okay. I'm trying to remember where all my special things are. Oh, more purple coins. We're at 15, so if I wanted to, which I do, this is a short kingdom based on the number of coins. And we're using hat coins. Let's style ourselves up. The black... Oh, oh no. I only put on the hat. I must be stylish! If you ever want to change your... Actually, let's show off some other entrances into the Odyssey. Up here, if you get on top, you can always slam butt and enter. Your outfit is ugly and I hate it. Oh, Morgan, why do you have to be that way? Must be stylish. The black tuxedo. Now, I'm a magician. I believe this is Super Mario All-Stars outfit when Mario was on the cover of the 2D All-Star title. So mean. But that's why I have you as my moderator because I give you permission to be mean. Only to me. You have to be nice to my audience. That is a law. Don't think I won't revoke your moderator rights if you become mean to my audience. Okay, oh, it's this level. Some more moon chips. And I say, oh, it's this level because there are secrets in the walls somewhere over there. Look at how all these coins. Money, 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 money. And there are more secrets to more walls. Somewhere. Really? Was it just the one? I thought there were two. Carefully, uh, rib, ribbity hop, hibbity hop, that's the phrasing. Carefully hippity hop my way through this cave of horrors. It's one of these that I have to platform on to. That one. As I miss and fall completely to my doom. Let's grab the chip so at least I don't have to make the trip back up. There we go. The secret power moon. Secret of the frog pond. And then the final moon chip. Drop down, uh, and down. A 
Abandon the frog. Searching the frog pond. Out we go. Up, up, up. Now somewhere in the coming of areas, we should be getting to a Paragoomba, which I'm correct, because it's right up here. Give me your soul. Now, Paragoomba is able to fly back up to the last height that it stood at. So if it stood at the highest point of the map, you can fly all the way back up to the highest point of the map. It's actually really useful. So there's 50. We got 15 coins already. Uh, somewhere there is a sign. No, wait, I think that's uh, post game. Or post story. Let's get around to the back side. There are many ways to find this door. Stayed too low for too long. <sighs> Excuse me. We have this moon, and this gives us the power moon right here. Again as I will probably keep repeating throughout this series as we progress. There is always a second moon in these side areas. Wait for the sludge to sail by and get through it. We have purple coins. And along this back wall, we actually have some platforming. Here's the second moon. Slipping through the poison tide. And on the back side, again, this was just the three coins. So let's head on out. That Goomba actually got in my way and prevented me from getting the moon. That's an actually good placement of a Goomba to be able to do that. Get the moon this time. There we go. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, some uh, interesting facts. Um, they also designed this kingdom to be uh, part of the tutorial in order to do a sort of juxtaposition of um, unsettling versus 
adventurous. Our first kingdom we start in is this cap kingdom, which is eerie and creepy. Mario had just lost his battle. He's in this place full of ghosts. That's kind of the position they were going for. And then you get to the Cascade Kingdom and the music is strong and empowering. It's adventurous and you're ready to start this new journey with Cappy. And it's a complete 180 of the kingdom we were just at, aka this kingdom. Um, additional facts is that Cappy's design and character came into development after the uh, idea of using the hat to capture enemies. So the idea of capturing enemies came first over Cappy. Which I think is really cool. We have lots here. Gonna get a couple back and forth. That was a mistake! Okay. I believe it is here that I normally forget the power moon. Turn around. The secret power moon is located in this blue block. I always forget about it and I only remembered it because I had to That's funny. We're all the way back here at the beginning. If you do know what you're doing, you could essentially get through this area without much problem. Keywords, if you know what you're doing. Which I clearly don't. There we go. I do want to get these coins. Now what I want you to do is leap out mid bar. And there we go. When we were first in Bonneton, we had all these different coins popping up everywhere. 
By the way, here's Captain Toad just standing back at the top. Wanted to get very close to the moon. He's probably the easiest Captain Toad to find. If you know to come back here. Okay. I am missing three coins. So you know what that means. Show me the way. concerned about where Bowser is telling me the coins are. Um. Oh, I know where he's saying the coins are. In here. Oh. I thought I had three coins left. As a note, there is a Mario mural. Not seeing anything out here in the far out area. Oh, I know where these ones are. I'm just dense. Wait, really? I missed four coins in here. Ah. Final coins. And there we go. So let's get our stickers and souvenirs. Ouch. Hello, hello. We now have the frog hat and a model of Bonneton Tower. Now, where is Takatu? Back here. Hi there, Takatu. Frog jumping from the top deck. I forgot all about chopping in Bonneton. Frog jumping from the top deck. Oh. I know what it's referring to. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, I need to get a frog again. Because there's the moon it's referring to. And it's saying top deck because there are two hats, a bottom deck and a top deck. Frog jump.
Okay, talk to you. No more hints. So that's it. We're done in the kingdom. How do you fight this boss? It feels impossible. It is possible. You're talking about Thardis, right? You use the thermal visor to find the weak point in its body. From there, you use the, we the wave beam to attack the body because you're trying to blast into the stone while using the wave beam, uh, the thermal visor to see where it is you're going. After that, once you do enough damage in the thermal visor, your thermal visor overheats and you switch back to the regular visor. The body part that you were just shooting is now exposed phase on and you can attack it directly with the either power beam or super missiles. I believe you can still use the uh, wave beam, but because super missiles do that much more damage, I recommend using that. Seeing as how we have some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Cap, throw, and hold. That literally, Cappy, we've been doing that the whole game. 